any student athlete who's ever played from the inception of the NCAA up until the date of preliminary approval is covered. The period of coverage is 50 years from the date of approval, 50 years forward. That's number one. I think we're forcing a safer playing environment for kids going forward in the future. We're forcing the NCAA to adopt best practices, which every parent, everyone in the country should want for student athletes playing in the NCAA. And second, we're going to get out there and offer these tests and hopefully identify people who need help and give them the tools to go get that help. And that's important. That's a good goal and I'm glad we accomplished it. Uh, when I was in school, uh, I was a strong safety most of the time. It was like a hard hitting position and I got a few concussions, like some that I never remembered about because I lost my memory, you know. And then a few of them, like I went, got put back in the game at the same time and, and like my last concussion, my dad came and got me out the, told the coaches not to put me back in the game. My initial reaction was, this is like, this, this, this has been five years waiting and I'm, I'm real happy that I may be able to help future players that, that may not have to go through the things I had to go through in life. People who are really injured uh, as a result of concussions get nothing out of the settlement. People who uh, may have been injured and need testing are going to get very little out of the settlement. They're going to get, at the end of the day, um, to the opportunity to fill out a questionnaire and then based on a secret algorithm, they might be able to get some sort of test where essentially their copay will be reimbursed. We think very few people are going to benefit from the settlement. The big winners uh, would be the plaintiff's attorneys and the NCAA.